Don't yell at me, so rude. Now, let's demonstrate Louie's full power by defeating Brunhilda without taking a single point of damage. Now, thanks to that opening, I get to shower you with bolts. Enjoy. Whoa. You know, one of the things I really hate when it comes to fighting dragons is their auto attacks. Their dragon tackles. I hate that so much. That's the one thing that'll hit me if I'm not paying attention. Especially when I'm playing on a screen like this. Oh, an opening! Thank you. I'll be taking those two. <laughs> Come on. Oh, and here comes the help. Let's take them out before they do something stupid. Having to dodge that and dragon tackles at the same time is a complete pain in the ass. So I'm just gonna keep rolling and then shoot back. Whoa. I mean, it's one thing to do this with a group, and it's another thing altogether to do it by myself. An opening! Ex Muspelheim. All right, let's hang out here and just uh, a party gift. What technique today? Dragon mortar. Don't tackle me. There's like no room to move here. Stop it! Don't tackle me. And this? Come on, is that the best you can do? Seriously, this is like bullfighting. Stop it. Oh, an opening! Ah, dude, please. Freezing you would be nice, because then I get to do some free hits. Oh, I guess this time I have to dodge it for reals. Stop it. X Moose Bohheim. Whoa. Surely you can't expect to hit me with that. That's cute. Now. Die! I'll drown you! Let's take out the help before they do anything unbecoming. Whoa! Did... Did that... Did Brunhilda really just push that thing around? Come on. That was actually kind of scary when Brunhilda was just pushing that guy around. I was actually a little worried there. What? 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 No dragon tackle. An opening! I'll be taking it. Alright, it's time we settle the score! Dragon combat! So ends Brunhilda, and now I have defeated Brunhilda without taking a single hit. Did I do a good job? Say yes. Oh yeah. Yes indeed. Okay, now that the demonstration of Master Brunhilda, no damage, is over, let us go over Lily a bit. Let's do a close analysis on what Lily truly is. She is a horrifying monster. Now, Lily is one of these characters that absolutely cannot be trusted, because she is so terrifying, you cannot just simply let her in the castle. But that's what Uden did, and now everybody is in danger. Now let's talk about her skills. First things first, her skills are good, but they're both her strength and her weaknesses. Now, Glacial Blossom, as I've explained earlier, it's a skill that you can't just throw out willy-lily. Willy-nilly. <laughs> willy -lily. It's one of these skills that if you were to use, say, oh, Brunhilda was charging at me, I will easily miss. That attack will miss because it takes 10 years to come out. 
Lily has to draw on the ground a big ass symbol or something, and then a giant block of ice will appear, and then the giant block of ice will shatter. So it's a two part attack. This is something you need to keep in mind. So you could use it to bait a boss back into it. Well, someone else can. You can't because you're stuck. You, you can uh, bait a boss back into it. So there's some advantages with that skill. Of course, granted, you know, it would be much better if you just land the hit in the first place. Then you get both the, the attacks in, doing good chunks of damage. Of course, this also works well with adds. In fact, this is the best skill to deal with adds. Now... Glacial Blossom is also very funny to use when you pair up with other lilies. You can take turn freezing the dude if he's susceptible, susceptible to it. But just remember, inflict freeze without fail does not mean actually without fail. It just means it starts with a hundred and something base chance. And if the enemy has some sort of resistance, well, you might not always freeze. So keep that in mind. But, like I said, if you take turns freezing with lilies, you could potentially just freeze lock someone to death. That is a very disgusting thing to see. I'll show you some something like that soon. Anyway, so there's that. But again, remember, this skill is something you need to be really careful with using. Otherwise, it's a complete DPS loss. It, the animation just simply takes too long. Meanwhile, Frozen Gale... Frozen Gale is a great move, comes out quick, does chunks of damage, but the problem is, it's melee! So it's rather situational in its use. Sure, you could freeze someone with Glacial Blossom and then roll over there and use a Frozen Gale, but I, so many times when I did this, something ends up hitting me in the face, and I don't like that. Like, for instance, another ad or something. They just so happen to be throwing fireballs. Oops, I got hit. I, I got hit once and my, my full HP damage is gone. And not to mention, it could be some kind of setup for another attack. And if you just so happen to roll into it just because you're greedy for a bit of extra damage, this will get you killed. So this is another skill that Lily has that she should use a little more carefully. I would say it's more of an emergency button if you're swarmed by ads. You can use that to take them out because melee is absolutely terrible for mages. I don't know if all of you know this, but in melee, a wand's attack, I think staff as well, maybe even bolt, your attack gets halved. Or maybe it's something like that. But I know that your damage gets cut, so you want to be as far away as from those guys as possible and keep raining down your attacks. So, something like this is not very... It doesn't work as well, but it is good to use it to get out of otherwise terrible melee situations. So that's one thing you could do with Frozen Gale. But, as you can see, both of these skills are situational uses. So she's not a skill spammer. Now, um, another thing about Glacial Blossom is that... I, I, I keep hearing people talking about how good long iframe skills are and it, it is especially when there's an opening like when we were fighting Brunhilda but well what if the enemy was using purple skills then you, you are screwed you fight Zodiac with that you are dead you're finished so you have to be really careful how you use Glacial Blossom all right now let's go over the co-ability so her co-ability is the same thing as Maribel's Sprouting skill damage. Now, skill damage is very nice, except for the part that Lily's skills are situational. Still, it helps out the team. And of course, I mean, you can always squeeze out more damage once you've frozen someone and then you, you use Frozen Gale. But again, I, I'm, a, I'm a little iffy with getting into melee range uh, unless necessary. So then, of course, is her primary strength. The fact that if she maintains full HP, she has a 15% increase in strength. This makes Lily an extremely, extremely deadly character. Of course, granted, if you play her right. If you play her poorly and get hit, well, you know, she's not actually all that strong. Like I said, her skills, situational uses, you're not going to be pumping out as much DPS as you think you might be. Because that... 
I I really wish Glacial Blossom wouldn't be so showy. It's just it's just too flashy. It takes forever to come out. It's it's beautiful, but it's just way too flashy. Anyway, so with this, strength of 15% works along with skills. So combine that with her previous uh, increase of skill damage. She's very, very deadly. But again, you have to play her right. She's not exactly the easiest character to use. I've seen like Lilies do like stupid things and get themselves killed all the time. Now, burn resistance, that's... Eh, whatever. I have yet to face something that really inflicts some serious burn damage. Not to mention, burn is like one of the weaker status ailments. Compared to stun, compared to bog, compared to sleep, compared to curse. Oh, well, curse isn't so bad if you're using Lily, but yeah. Compared to those, burn is just, psh, whatever, a little bit of damage. If you get hit, you know, you're already lost. You already lost your damage. Then there's skill prep 100%. It, it could be handy, I mean... Look, Lily does have a good repertoire of skills, so having them ready to be used is always nice. You just don't spam it. That's all. And also, Lily is is a water staff, so no water staff, water wand, and that upgrade line on five star has a uh, has a AOE attack. So that with skill prep is also very handy. And I think that attack actually comes out pretty fast. So that's something that fixes Lily's little problem. Alright. Now that we've gone over that, let's talk about worm prints and equipment. So my current Lily is equipped with the Rod of Tears. That's the uh, standard 4-star staff. Nothing special there. It gives a defense up. You want to upgrade to the 5-star as soon as you can, but... You know, if you need something to tide you over, because 5 stars does take forever to get, Rod of Tears will not disappoint you. I've been using it since I got it in the Fragonoth, and it's been serving me nice and well. In terms of Worm Prince, there's a couple options you can pick. Now, I chose Levin's Champion, because Levin's Champion is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Worm Print, that affects all aspects of DPS play. Both your attack and both your standard normal attack and your skills. As long as you maintain 70% HP, you have a critical rate of 8% and on top of this, you get critical damage plus 13%. This, this worm print is good, not just because of its primary effect, but because it works together with its secondary effect. So, critical rate and critical damage, you'll be doing chunks of, I think it's double damage, and a little extra with this wonderful card. So, Levin's Champion is my favorite to use with Lily. I mean, there are other options, but I, I prefer that one, because I think I see Lily using normal attack fairly often, because of her strength increase. Her skills is good, too. It will do chunks with her skills. But again, got to be careful when you use them. All right, now in terms of other wonderful worm prints, I mean, you could use this one. You could use the um, Jewels of the Sun, but I don't really like it all that much. It does pair decently well with Lily's attack strength, but eh, skill haste is not. It's better on something like Maribel. And then, of course, she has her own card, the Crystallian Envoy. Now, this one, as you can see, is 70% with an 8% strength increase. It's not even maxed out on anything. It's just how it is. This is a better card, but eh, the problem is it's a second effect. The Flame Resistance allow you to take 5% less damage from fire, but generally, when it comes to using mages and such, you already take 20% extra damage, and not to mention, just getting hit is a bad thing in of itself. You want to train yourself in not getting hit, so, so a secondary effect like that is kind of useless for a DPS of this caliber. Anyway, let's see, what else is there? Ugh, one of my personal favorites. The Evening of Luxury. 
not only is Shell hot, but she also provides full HP equals strength 10%. Hey, guess what? It's the same thing as Lily! As long as you avoid getting hit, you have good skill, and you don't get hit, you will deal chunks and chunks of damage. Now, the critical damage secondary it work does work with her, but... I mean, it would be nice if she actually has some crit rate. So compared to Levens, I think this one's a little bit weaker. Still, you can't count on crit all the time. So for something that is truly reliable, Evening of Luxury will get you taken care of. At max, unbind, I think it goes to 13 strength. So combined with Lilies, it's like 28% extra damage you're dealing. As long as you stay at full HP. It's not really that hard. As long as you get a healer or you just know how to dodge there's no problem you will deal chunks of damage of course it's all nothing so if certain raid mechanics don't agree with you evening of luxury doesn't work out like for instance earlier when we fight um hypnos when hypnos uses the big aoe you can't avoid it you can stop it from doing chunks of damage but you can't avoid it unless you go in a dragon form yeah you do that but for the most part you know it's one of these things that that are tough to avoid so, that's where full HP falters. It's just so unforgiving. You take one damage, and then that's it. Everything is over. Now, let me see. What other worm prints could be decent for Lily? Honestly, I can't really think of too many. Most of them are okay. I mean, Lily doesn't use Force Strike. So, if that puts out Night Stalker, and together we stand out. Together we stand is a really fun card. I, I really like it because you build up strength quite a bit as long as you uh, kill people with force strikes. Problem is, is that Lily is pretty terrible at that. I mean, as mages go, you do use a AoE blast, but eh, it's much better on the characters. It's a skill for them. Anyway, Levin's Champion, I think, is currently the best one. There shouldn't I mean, there's other options, but I, I seriously think that Levin's Champion, which works on all aspects of her play, is probably the best. Anyway, then there is Dargons, 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 Dargons. There is no better choice than Leviathan, of course. Of course, if you don't have another Leviathan, try to get yourself a Vodanoi. Vodanoi is pretty nice, gives you strength of 30%. It's not Leviathan, but it will help you get that max and minus 45 strength so that's a little bit stronger than Leviathan if you haven't unbind him yet or you could use Poliahu Poliahu is decent easy to mix max as well though I prefer much prefer strength anyway so that's about it for our demonstrate well for our analysis of Lily let's do a couple more fun demonstrations of her True power. Now, time for another demonstration. Let us join the trainer, Celery, as she attempts to train three lilies to survive in the Imperial Onslaught without a healer. Now, Imperial Onslaught's one of those maps where it's practically impossible to avoid getting hit. So, Lily's power is pretty much cut here. There's nothing you can really do about it. But... Let's do our best, anyway, to avoid getting hit for as long as possible so that I can put out some beeps. So I'm going to just stand around here and, oops, well, I got, hit. god damn it, that was much faster than I thought. Well, whatever. Now let's go and blast, uh-oh, Celery's already dying. Well, what's going to happen when our trainer dies? <laughs> you know... Out of all the staffs, I, I don't understand why Maribel's the one that gets the healing one. I think Lily's the one who should get it the most. Well, then again, I don't know. Having the actual offensive staff is good, too. Can't complain. It's just a matter of having a healer and not having a healer, really. Alright, I think we might survive after all. Let's do this. Ah, too bad about Celery, though. Now that our trainer is dead, we have to survive on our own. Oh, crap. This is bad. Okay, alright. That's not good. I was thinking we'd do a little bit more damage, but nope, we did not. So now, 
we have to survive. So I'm entering survival mode now. I'm gonna try to take out these ads. Because if you don't take out these ads, you're in serious trouble like these guys are right now. <clears throat> and I really don't like trouble. As you can see, this whole map is trouble right now. These guys are dying. Oh, one of them already died. <sighs> Looks like I have to carry once again. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, you know that you have to use Dragon 24%. Oh, oh, oh that's so cute. But your skill pales in comparison to mine. Now, I just got to find an opportunity to take out this guy and all will be well. I can dance all day, pal. You think that's just scratching me will be enough to take me out? I can dance all day, pal. First, let's take out that stupid healer. <gasps> Chase! Chase! No, I will not die. I'll never die! I am the strongest in the universe! Drown! Chase You won't take me out this easily. It's over. Thanks. <laughs> and so I was able to succeed where others have failed. Nice. They witnessed my heroism. And so that is how Celery and the Three Lilies were able to survive and tell the tales of God Lily. Time for yet another fun demonstration. This time, four lilies. Who will survive? Place your bets now. Well, I certainly sold my stock well getting hit by that stupid arrow. Doot, 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 doot. But arrows, you really can't dodge. They just kind of fly at you, and you just kind of have to take it. It's a shame, but these things happen. All right, now, let's see how well our friends will deal with the... Oh, my God, you knocked me into that? I better get out of this. <laughs> let's take out the shield dude. The shield dude's going to be a bane. All right, now, take this guy out. Oh, frozen, good. I'll save my skills for now. I don't want to take out the ads. I'm very conscientious when it comes to situations like these. If these ads stay around, bad things can only happen. Now I can focus on supporting the group with my own Glacial Blossom. I'll hold on to my uh, Frozen Gale, though. I think it might be useful. Now... What could end up happening is, is that this dude will just remain frozen in the middle by four lilies just <laughs> constantly switching glacial blossoms. This could be what happens. I mean, look how deplorable this all is. <laughs> it could be that all oh, lilies will survive <laughs> because lilies are horrifying my... Oh, I had that 14k crit. Yeah, you can kiss my ass, pal. <laughs> That was deplorable, okay? That, that just now, is what we call deplorable. Did I do a good job? Say yes. <laughs> this is the true tale of God Lily. Four goddamn he lilies just taking turns freezing a guy to death. That is <laughs> disgusting. <laughs>